One of my favorite memories of our five years here in the um, International Quilt Study Center and Museum was the um, gift of the Jean Ray Laurie collection to the center. Uh, back in 2011, Jean and her family contacted us and, 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 and thought maybe we would be interested in a few of Jean's quilts and some of her materials. Um, I was astounded at how humble Jean was about her collection and her influence on quilt making and actually thought it was just very strange and wonderful that she wanted to know if we might be interested or not. And I said, well, of course we would be interested. We would be honored to have your collection. What was fabulous about Jean's collection is not only did she give us about 40 quilts that represent um, the work of her, her work over um, uh, 30 or 40 years, but she also had amazing pieces like examples of the textile prints that she developed, this wonderful chicken print and all of the variations that came with it. But she also gave us items that were paper cutouts because Jean was involved in so many different types of projects. So there's Jonah in the whale in her paper pieces and her little bowl of spaghetti that, that Kim is showing us. In addition to that, we also um, received a number of Jean's teaching materials and um, her teaching notebooks, her teaching background. So what we have is really a collection that represents everything that Jean Ray Laurie did. Um, and she was so influential in early quilt the early quilt revival. She was the first woman to be published, um, writing articles and giving instructions on how to make quilts. And and what, what I loved about her, and we had an opportunity to meet her when we went out to, to pack the quilts and, and bring the collection here, she just had a wickedly funny sense of humor. And she truly believed that women could do it all, so that you could be a, a wonderful mother, a wife, and yet really celebrate your art form and, and pursue your own passions.